Sandy Duff and his crew are artists working in a medium usually reserved for secular rather than sacred works. But having established the largest legal graffiti wall in England at the Sage in Gateshead, Sandy's come up with the idea of an up-to-date version of the Lindisfarne Gospels with spray cans. When we started researching the Gospels project, I was really struck by the parallels between the graffiti writers that I was used to working with and actually the programs of work that these monks undertook. What they could see in their mind, there wasn't the materials to create, so they actually had to go out and create the tools to project what was in their heads. Another interesting parallel between the Gospels and the contemporary graffiti work is the fact that when a graffiti writer finishes his piece, the last thing he will do is to sign it off and he will tag somewhere in the piece with his own name. But not only that, they do what's called a shout out. So you'll get a number of different names that go around the piece which are references and thanks to various different crews, possibly artists that have inspired them. And the Gospels themselves actually mirror this and the, the last pages, not only is the, the work signed off but there's acknowledgements to the various people that have supported and helped it. I really wanted to do something that was not only a one-off sort of exhibition or art show, but really um, it brought young people and other members from the community and engaged them, got them involved, got them thinking about what the history was behind the Gospels, what the faith aspects were behind the Gospels, and what the creative angles were in the Gospels. I think the interesting thing about um, having skills is to remember that these are gifts and actually my feeling is that you know praise and worship can come in the use of the gifts that you have and actually by sharing those gifts not just in producing your own work but actually working alongside others and in my case working alongside young people and sharing those skills and sharing those gifts is a valid form of worship as any.